So, all right, guys. Um, I'm currently. Hi, guys. I'm currently in a, a, a grocery store, a big, big, big one, very big one, in uh, the city of Saint Catharines. Okay, in in the Niagara region. Um, Canada is made up of provinces and the provinces are broken into regions regions are like a collection of cities right so i'm in the region of niagara and the niagara region is a collection of cities okay st catherine's welland port colborne niagara falls and uh, font hill south Pelham. yeah so i'm in the region of niagara and i'm currently in costco with my wife and my little boy my son who i am pushing here you can tell he's sleeping yeah so i recommend costco to you if you're a family man because with costco you are able to do bulk purchase huh? bulk purchase like a wholesale the prices are great very cheap uh, basically the prices are cheaper than what you get at the regular stores right now the only time we come to costco is when we want to do bulk purchase for things that we don't get in other stores or things that are cheaper here so sometimes we come here and we buy our cooking oil uh, we buy a whole lot so as i'm going through with my, my wife is the one doing the shopping i'm just going to be filming some things here so that you guys can enjoy the video i recommend this if you are a family person in the u.s or in canada there is costco in the u.s uh, there is costco in canada as well they have their own credit card so you can even take a credit card from them and then when you shop you use their credit card to pay right you would have paid with any other probably your own cash or a different credit card so why not take the credit card from costco and then you get all kind of deals from them right so um yeah we're currently in, in costco i'm going to be turning my camera so you can enjoy it once i go through okay um i hope you guys are all good thank you stay here okay mm -hmm. so this is the entrance and before you get in the before you get in, they are going to check to make sure you have a card. I didn't say this. You just can't come here and shop. You need to have a card. If you don't have their membership card, you can't come in. Hmm? It is a member-only shopping. You need to have a card showing that you're a member of Costco. So we do have... <laughs> we came in with a card. The lady in there, you see what she's doing? She's checking. Before you enter, they are going to check your card. They are going to check your ID before they let you in it's not just a place that everybody can just come in for you to be able to shop here you need to have a card okay all right mm -hmm. and that is their checkout line it's a very huge place <laughs> So wholesaling like uh, buying things you know when you buy things at the wholesale they are cheaper when you buy them at the retail stores they are a little bit uh, they are a little bit expensive right so there are cell phones there are cell phones as well um, this line is for popcorns and a few other snacks They are cheaper my wife is busy shopping so <laughs> i am just going around just filming some things here and they have different sections guys they have almost everything from cooking utensils to electronics to food items to meat and dairy products they have everything they do have everything they have everything here okay mm -hmm. Okay. 
so you can see people come here and then they buy a lot of things in bulk okay you can see here olive oil in bulk you can buy like a lot of them in bulk you see mm -hmm. tomatoes you can pick a whole box of tomatoes fruits and this side is where you have your meat and fish and other things let me see if I can go in there okay <laughs> It's very chilly. Okay. It is very, very cold. This feels like a, a freezer. It's very cold here. Just because they keep meat, products, fish, and different things here. So it's pretty, pretty chilled. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get out from the meat session No, that's fine, sir. <laughs> that, that's fine. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay. Okay. Um, Esohe Noma, Alison, do you have enough space for a home garden? You should try having a home garden. Yeah, it's just one of the things I wanted to do this year. Um, but something came up. I think there was a reason. Why didn't I do it? Something probably... There was a reason why I didn't do it. Um, so some of my friends actually have home gardens. Where they grow their own tomatoes and uh, okra and uh, cucumber and a few things. We also have a place in the Naga region where they give free garden birds right you don't pay for the soil you don't pay for the seedlings you don't pay for anything they basically give you a piece of land like a small garden bed they provide the soil they provide you with the seedlings and they tell you to just come and plant it it's beautiful my friends do that i did it once and it was great we had a good yield but i just haven't gotten the time i've been so busy uh, but one of these days you're going to see me have something like that right so costco um if you're a family I encourage you to figure out how to save money. When I first moved to Canada, if I went to the store to shop, I wasn't paying attention to the prices, right? Remember, I'm a choleric, right? We don't pay attention to those details. We just go and we grab and then we walk away, right? Melancholies will check every detail. They'll compare the prices. They will make sure that they are not being cheated by any store, right? They'll go to the cheap, like where they can get it. Me, I used to just go and grab fuel. I just go and pay. But at some point, I started learning from my wife because she's, um, she's really good at numbers. She, she knows exactly where we can go and get cheap things, right? <laughs> you see, so she, we know, we know every store. That's my wife passing by. <laughs> so, that's her there. Can you see her? Uh, she knows, <laughs> she, she knows 
she knows everywhere we can get cheap stuff oh yeah that's why it's good to have a partner who has strengths in areas you don't huh she knows every store where we can get a deal <laughs> she just she just good at it so there are certain items we don't buy them anywhere we come to costco there are also some items we don't buy them from costco we buy them from a different store there are also like so basically the point here is that as a family person you need to have your stores where you can get everything you need to know where you get your best deal for tomatoes you need to know where you get the best deal for um for rice bag of rice you need to know where when you can go you can get the best deal for your fufu or you know what i mean huh basically it's about just being smart with your dollar right um most men especially cholerics and sanguines we don't care we just go anywhere we don't even check the price of gas so which is fuel huh i used to do that i don't check the price of fuel i just go and i fill my tank and then later on i started realizing no i wasn't being smart with my money because there were places you can buy the same fuel from the same company but they are cheaper than other locations so i started using the gas body app an app called gas body and basically what that does is that it tells you where you can get the cheapest fuel for the same brand in the same location right so this is just about being smart with money right here you can make the money but it can go really really fast so you want to be really smart with how you spend your money we only come to costco when we have a list of items that we know we can't get from any other place cheap and then we come here so when we come here like this she has a list of things she wants to get you see and as she's going around <laughs> don't mess with her eh? she has her own list though she's not just walking around she has a list <laughs> That's the one thing about her melancholies. She never goes shopping without a list. Huh? Me, I got no list. <laughs> All right. <laughs> John Henry, good. Me, I go shopping without a list too. You give me 10, 10, 10 items to buy. I'll come home with eight of them minus the two. Colleries, you don't go with list too. <laughs> I always forget one thing. <laughs> My wife, she's always got her list. Huh? She knows exactly what she wants. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that's my boy. He, he was sleeping. He just woke up. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the fun. Mm -hmm. I just have to walk around and walk him, then he will stop. The moment he stops for a second, he begins crying. So yeah, this is Costco. There's so much to shop here, guys. So yeah, um, if you come to Canada, one thing I will recommend is have a store where you shop everything you want for the cheapest there are all kinds of deals in town hmm? it's okay it's okay it's okay mm, it's okay it's okay it's okay the, the unfortunate thing is that i can't lift him out of the stroller huh? so even though he's crying i just have to walk him around you see i it's not like africa where you can just carry him put him on your chest and walk around like that <laughs> so i just have to walk him around it's all right it's okay mm. yeah so costco for you <laughs> costco for you okay there is costco uh from one of my christian doku says that they have Costco in the UK that's great so yeah what you can also do is that if you don't have the membership card if you have a friend that you trust you can share or probably uh, try to use your card we've done that in the past uh, we have a very good friend of us she can always say you know what well, come take my card and go and shop with it that is if you don't want to secure the membership card yourself there is a small fee to pay if you want to use the membership card you see the man that was crying or oh, see him can you see how he's enjoying see uh see him see him can you see him <laughs> that man who was just crying right now hmm? see him hmm. <laughs> okay <Whew. laughs> So remember this everything here is wholesale okay wholesale people buy in bulk everything wholesale mm -hmm. 
Do do do. <laughs> and the name is Costco, okay? Costco. You need a membership card to shop. They will check your ID as well. It is recommended for families, especially if you do the comparison of prices and you think it's cheaper here, you can. We have an app in Canada that you can use to check places where you can get the best deal. There is an app for that, okay? There is an app. The apps will tell you which stores have the best deal on this item. The same thing you can find it cheaper in one store, you can find it a little bit expensive in another store. So, yeah. <laughs> So the last time me and my wife was here, I look at the, I look at the store, huh? and I was telling my wife, honey, one day I'm going to build something like this in Ghana, a big supermarket for wholesale, where when you come in you can shop everything you want, wholesale, not retail, wholesale, big store like Costco, I'm going to build it in Ghana, and then she looked at me and I said, yeah, you believe it, you believe in me, she think we can do it, she said, yes, I believe in you, <laughs> yeah. Don't you think it would be a great idea to have something like this? Hmm? Not, not Melcom. Melcom is not a wholesale point. I'm not talking about Melcom. I'm not talking about um, a caramel, no. I'm talking about something big. Very huge. Hmm? Something that when you walk inside to shop, you even get lost. And it's all wholesale. Wholesale. How about that? Is it possible? <laughs> uh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just walking around to make sure my son sleeps, huh? So forgive me. All right. So this is for baking. Baking stuff. Mhm. Mm so this big water. You see? Mhm. Mm Yeah, so if you are in Canada and you have a Costco in your region and you are a family man, <laughs> please consider checking out their prices. Compare the prices. Don't just buy everything from one store. Compare the prices and see where you are going to save money, okay? See where you are going to save money. Yeah. There are times when when you come here there is a lot of traffic here yeah? it wasn't easy it actually was so bad they just opened a new one in the city of niagara falls so because of that the pressure here has gone down a little bit it used to be so bad yeah it used to be so so bad it used to be so bad all right So look at these deals. This is a Galaxy A32 5G. Basically what they are saying here is that you don't need to pay anything, zero dollars. You don't pay anything to get this phone. Uh, all you need is a Costco shop card of $250. And then you are going to be making a monthly payment of $24. No, for 24 months, you're going to be paying $15.42 cents a month to get this phone uh, so most of these phones are zero dollars meaning that when you grab it for free, <laughs> you're not paying anything to grab it they will break it down for monthly and then they will give you a plan like a phone plan to go with huh? most of these phones in fact almost all the phones you are seeing here you don't pay for it so those of us who live overseas you see people using phones that they didn't pay for is because <laughs> this place this place is not at Africa. That was one of the shocks I had when I came here. This place is not like Africa. In Africa, everything is so expensive, right? Like, can you imagine my S10 Plus that I'm using? I didn't pay for it. It was $0. I didn't pay for it. 
just my phone plan i didn't pay for it so basically with this phone plans as well uh so all of them are zero zero dollar right zero down depends on what carrier you're on which okay so i'm with freedom mobile mm -hmm. freedom mobile which one can i do you guys run a credit check to to qualify someone yep. okay do you have a deal for students i'm just showing my friends uh, on facebook like the kind of deals they can a they lot can of get. the deals we have on are, are some of the back to school sales so back to school sales yep. okay andrew are you okay me capturing us you're explaining them is that okay sure. perfect okay so Did you have a phone in mind that you were looking at? all right let's start with the best deal for students what is the best package for a student now uh, well, everybody's different, so you gotta kind of figure out each individual's needs. So, how much data do you need for your? So, let's say one gigabyte, two gigabyte, something like that, or okay. up to five. Yeah. So, with uh, either Virgin or Fido, we can do plans for forty-five dollars a month. Forty-five dollars a month. Yep. Good. Four, four gigabytes of data. Four gigabyte data. Yeah. Or you can do fifty dollars a month for ten gigabytes of data. Fifty dollars for ten gig. Yep. And forty-five for for four, four gig, right? And that is with Virgin. Virgin or Fido. Virgin or Fido, which is a mobile network. Yes. And which cell phones do we get with zero down, no payment? So any of the so it says Fido and Virgin are here at the bottom two. Mm -hmm. So this would be zero, this is zero. So you basically, don't pay nothing except for the plans we just talked about, right? Correct. So you basically come, you get a phone if you're a student. You get a phone if you're are a student. Are you more just in like iPhones or Android? Android, iPhone, any of them is great. Really mm -hmm. The best deal I'd say right now would be like the iPhone 10R, and that one you can get for fifteen dollars a month on top of one of those plans i was telling you about mm -hmm. and it's zero dollars down so zero down iphone 10 r yes. fifteen dollars a month and you just have to choose any of those phone plans Correct. and then it goes on top yes. right yes. so basically you see what this means is that if you're a student international student you don't need to yes. use your own money to buy the phone some of you are going to be using your money trust me some of you are going to be taking five hundred dollars six hundred dollars to buy a phone if you know exactly how these things work, you can walk in here and get the iPhone 10 hour he just talked about. His name is Andrew, and he's with wireless phone inside a Costco in St. Catharines, right? And like, guys, when I came here, I didn't know this. When I was a student, I didn't know this. I used my own money to buy a cell phone, right? But now I no longer use my money to buy a cell phone, and I make sure whatever phone I grab is still within my budget of my phone plan, which is like a contract for how much you pay every month, right? So as low as $45 with either Fido or Virgin, which is a mobile company name like MTN, like what you guys say, MTN or, you know, you basically can walk away with either this phone or the best deal he said is iPhone XR. And <laughs> I, do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Like this is, this is how it is here. I'm from Africa, so I try, I try to compare it. Like in Africa, we use money to buy everything. You got to take money to go buy a phone. Big money. Right? Here, it's not like that. You only pay for your phone plan, and then you pay for just a little bit. So, what is the market value of this phone, for instance? What is the market value? So, it'll be here. $435. So, the market value for... Look at this. The market value for this phone, Galaxy A32 5G, the market value is right here, 435 right? So if you come and get a plan from them, say you choose a $45 plan or whichever plan works best for this deal, they are only going to charge you $15.42 yeah. per month for 24 months. Yeah. And if we do the math, that is cheaper than it's the cheaper four. Than you see? 65 or $70. You see? Okay. So if you do the math, $15.42 per month for 24 months, which is the contract term, for, you need to be with them for 24 months basically with the contract they are trying to keep you as a customer for about two years right which is 24 months but they are giving you a deal instead of you to go and use your own cash for the 435 to buy this cell phone you are getting it for almost free and then they only charge you an extra 15 dollars and 42 cents for a month guys you guys know math take your phone do the calculation 15 42 dollars times uh 24 months you're gonna notice that it's way cheaper than the actual price of the phone um but if you don't know this what is going to happen is uh which where is iphone 10 now is it here can i see uh, it i don't have it on display you don't have it on display right it's similar like uh, it's not really mm. yeah, it looks like this it one, looks like this one right it's not the same one. Oh, okay all right so um i in national students uh coming to canada i try to you know 
Yeah, that's great. As when I was a student, I didn't know none of this. I used my money to buy the phone, right? Yeah, as long as you have, um, usually to, to run a credit check, we do need like usually two pieces of ID. Two pieces of ID. So like uh, if you get a, a social you insurance number, right. which you will get. Which you will get if you're an international yeah. student, right? So. And then a piece of uh, photo ID, like a passport, international passport. International passport, and, and maybe it. your visa in there or something yep. showing you, or, or maybe your yeah. study permit, right? Because automatically if you have the okay. SIN, if you have the same number it takes and care your of that that's, that's, that's all it yeah. so all you need guys if you are an international student all you need is your um, your ID passport or your student ID on top of that and then you also need your uh, social insurance number which is similar to what our guys in the US call social security number right and then basically with that you are good to go ahead and pick a phone thank you so much for your time andrew and i will be coming back again let me walk my boy he's still trying to cry all right so i hope you enjoy this right i hope you enjoy this so look at this when i went to the store guys i was trying to get a phone for my wife that was two years ago and then the gentleman told me it looks like you have a good credit your history shows you have a good credit and you've been with us for a long time. Do you know you are qualified for a free mobile phone? I'm like, really? He said, yes. Then I asked him, what kind of phone? He said, oh, Galaxy S10 Plus. And then he showed me the market value at that time. It was 1,500. And then he said, I could get it for free. I don't even need to upgrade my plan crazy. Just a little bit, something small. On top of whatever I was paying before. And then I look at it, the phone was 1,500. And then the amount they were putting on top for me to get a phone was just something small, like probably, was it $10, $15 extra? So I did the math. And all I'm supposed to do was to be with them for two years, right? Two years more in order to get a phone. So I did the math. Whatever they were adding to my current bill, I just multiplied it by 24 months. And then I realized it was not even up to $400. Guys, look at it. Meaning even if I grabbed that phone from them and then I said the phone got missing, I could just go and sell it somewhere for $1,000 and make the money, right? <laughs> was it? anyway i don't know if you're getting the drill i could have just taken that phone for that extra 10 or whatever dollar they put on top and i could have decided to go sell it somewhere for 10 for thousand dollars and made the cash some people do that they say well my phone is missing i'm not teaching you to lie but i'm saying that realistically if your phone ever got missing or if you sold it <laughs> you're actually making profit because that phone is worth 1500 at the time when i bought it you see that <laughs> and that is the phone i'm using now i didn't buy it <laughs> but anyway these are some of the ways to be smart here right i am not teaching you guys to just buy 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 i'm telling you guys we need to be smart with how money works <laughs> we need to be smart with how things work when you know how things work you can get things for free i have a friend who goes on vacation listen he goes on vacation puerto rico Dominican Republic, Bahamas, his, his hotel bills and flight tickets are all free, free, just because this guy knows how to get them for free. <laughs> it doesn't pay. So you, you're going to be seeing him on Instagram, posting pictures of his family on vacation. You're going to tell oh my God, this guy is super rich. He's super rich. No, he's just super intelligent financially. He knows how the money system works. Eh? Rich people normally don't pay for their business classes. They don't pay for their first classes. They have all kinds of deals that gives them those things for free. And the poor people will be in economy. <laughs> the economy is too much stress, huh? And they even pay more than the rich people do. <laughs> Such a world, huh? Guys, nice connecting with you. My wife is almost done. So we're gonna be checking out. <laughs> we are heading to go check out now. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys soon, another time, okay? Love you guys all. This is me and my family shopping at Costco. And at least you saw that. So if you're an international student, yeah? Think twice. Before you take $500 to buy a cell phone, think twice. Before you take $400 to buy a cell phone, think twice. And do all the research and find out whether you can get a better deal for almost zero. Huh? For a better phone, which will not break your bank and your plan and your budget for the month as a student and still cheaper than whatever you would have used. Smart living, okay? Share this video, let it bless other people. God bless you. Bye-bye.